index.html file that has an HTTP refer. James, you're recording, right? James, you still there? Yeah, I'm still recording. Yeah, good. Okay. So it's got that HTTP refer link that points to the 217.html. Okay. Yeah, I thought I had it bookmarked. I'm not sure why I'm not finding it. Well, whatever. You can bookmark it or remember it or copy it and paste it or, you know, whatever you want. <laughs> um, I'll do that later. Yep. I'll let you work. Um, do you have, are you in, um, can you view your, um, your toolbar? There should be an option in Firefox. Like there's another set of tools that you're missing. Really? Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Where do I find my toolbar? But there should be a way to drag and drop into some drag and droppable menu. You could just drag that page into your, some bar and it will be there. <laughs> I don't know why you don't have that. Okay, so what we want to work on here, and um, so John is kind enough to join us. This is uh, the Design Right Studio, COM375, IDT 575, and we're gonna play a little bit here um, and work on the second exercise. And John, if, if you wouldn't mind, if I just kind of do a little navigation for you. Sure. Uh, check some things out. Um, so this is, uh, if you haven't seen this, I'll kind of update you on what's gone on in the, in the wiki. Um, you're looking at a dynamic wiki that changes all the time. And this is the front face of our studio. And our studio is where we design and write interactive texts. And as a participant in the studio, either a student in the class or some other way, that's what we're doing. Um, since John last joined us a couple of nights ago. I added a what's new button and John, go ahead and click on that what's new button there. Um, and so what's new, I'm going to show you the code behind it. It's kind of interesting. Um, what's new reveals opens up a whole list of things that I've currently got tagged as what's new and then the date that I posted them. So um, John, if you click getting the toolkit working, and so that's a blue link. That's going to take you to the tiddler called Getting the Toolkit Working. And if you click on video, it will show John Feinberger setting up his toolkit. But you don't have to do that. Okay, good. <laughs> so you can close that tiddler by clicking on the X in the upper right-hand corner of the tiddler. And it kind of scrolls back up. Um, and then you can um, scroll, where'd we go? We'll scroll up a little bit more. And we're kind of back to where we were. If you want to start over again for some reason, you just click the home button in the upper right hand corner and that always starts you over. And, um, it, and what it does, it remembers where you last left your open text. So if you want to close that text, it might not be super obvious, John, but you click on one of those open or close buttons, one of those brackets, and that closes it. That's pretty funky. I kind of like that. But um, and someday or soon, if you want to write it, you can open up this tiddler and edit it. So go ahead and edit this tiddler. Um, those of you who just have to make that right now can um, grab that line that says Strex, S-T-R-E-X, and figure it out and diagnose it. But close that, and that's all it does. OK. So what we want to do, though, is click on um, Next Steps. And if you haven't done these, if you haven't gotten the toolkit, if you haven't created your first Tiddly Wiki, if you haven't registered for the Google group, and if you haven't shared your wiki, do that. Click on the share your wiki there. Just click on the wiki link there, down on the bottom. Uh, wiki, and, um, and there's the form, and if you click on the responses button, um, sc scroll up a little bit. Um, outside the form, though, it's a little funky. Scroll up within the, there it is, within the, yeah, and click on the responses. Um, I haven't updated this for a little while, but those are the responses we've gotten so far. And you actually don't have to wait for me if you don't want to. Um, if you open the second tab of the spreadsheet once it fully loads, of form responses. Um, we'll see if there's any more since this afternoon when Say posted. Yeah, there's 11, there's 12 and 13, there's two more. And um, so good. And in fact, that first one is not a 
not going to work for us. So, John, oh, there, John posted his second one, and that's going to work. So, that one more that I'll post for. But you can click those and see other people's. But go back to the, um, to the second tab. Um, hopefully, you've done that. So, click share. Uh, we're still in the second tab there. Close the share my first weekly tiddler. And click on classes. Sorry, this is not quite super clear. Um, this is a little repetitive. Um, hopefully you got the toolkit. Hopefully posted in the Google group. But now, John, I think you're ready to begin work on your second week. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do is just spend maybe like five minutes, sort of a little bit of background, and then kind of walk down through this step by step. And I think it should take about 20 minutes. Of course, he can do it again. So the first thing, let's kind of bring our focus just to this tiddler. And so, John, if you click on the down arrow, the more info button, you can linger over that, and the tool tip should say, Info, okay. And then what we want to do is close others. And that's going to close all the other tiddlers. And then while we're at it, why don't you close the sidebar menu in the upper right-hand corner. And so our full focus is just on this week, or just on this tiddler, sorry. Um, and so what you're going to do in this exercise in your second week is create I'm going to go from the to it's a study in 13 tiddlers. You're going to create a wiki, it tells a story about one character. It could be you, it could be anyone. My example you'll see, of course, is Donald Trump, because that's all I think about him. Okay, and then um, you can create a total of 13 tiddlers about this person. And so um, if below that horizontal line, it says there's additional detail about this exercises, and it's provided in several other tiddlers. And what I'm doing here, if you see in those bolded word tabs, tagged, and links, is I'm displaying the three tiddlers that I'm going to ask you to look at in three different ways. I put them in tabs. If you click on the My Second Wiki button, um, below, on the My Second Wiki tag, up, right up above, up, 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 on the My Second Wiki tag, which is that pill box. Missing it, John. It's right between the two. It says these tiddlers are tagged. Why am I seeing that? Yep, it's right under there. Just move your mouse down. It says these tiddlers oh, are tagged. Yes. My yep. second wiki. Click on that, and it opens. It creates. It opens links either to the tiddler called My Second Wiki, which you're on, or to the overview, or the step by step, or the things to learn. Um, so just um, uh, you know, mouse off of that, or click somewhere else. Um, the third one, links, I generate a set of links to the three tiddlers, and you can click on one of them and it will take you to that tiddler. Or, click on the, oh, yep, that would work too, yep. Um, but scroll up a little bit, and the interface you're used to is clicking on the tab. So click on the first tab, and what that's going to do is display the contents of that tiddler in this tab. Um, so this is an introductory. Um, exercise, it talks about and teaches linking and tagging as a technique. Um, we're going to call it a discourse based wiki. These will all be terms that we'll define. Um, and so we're going to move on to the step by step. And these are the directions. And they're not always going to look like this. I kind of wrote them in a good level of detail, but not too much. So it's hard to figure out exactly how to do this. But it's fine. Okay, so there's, I think, 12 steps, and you'll see they go kind of quickly. So, John, if you would be so kind as to divide your screen in half and um, open the new Firefox window. The new window, yeah. And um, we'll put them side by side, one on the left, one on the right, so we can see them both at the same time. Um, and I think there's a way to do that magically in... Do you want a Mac or, or Windows? I'm on Windows. Yeah, there's a way to just do that. They sort of, you go over there and they pop in, and that's what people tell me, but I never believe it. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you, we don't need them both on this page, but we'll get there in a second. Okay? And we just want to, so that, yeah, that's, we just want to make them so that they're perfectly side by side. Um, James, you know how to do this, like, automatically? Windows just does this, right? Yeah, Windows will just do it for you, I do believe. How do you do it? Uh, I'm on my Windows machine right now. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> well, anyway, so yeah, you just kind of keep dragging it over to the left a little bit and yeah. Someone in class knew how to get windows to do it, but I just don't. Yeah, I wasn't worried. Okay. okay, so that's fine. So the first step is to download empty. So go ahead and click on the download empty. And because we set this up last time, it asks you where you want to save it. So go ahead and click save file and OK. And we're going to save it in your Google Drive. Yep, Google Drive, Updog, that one. And let's give it the name, um, well, my second wiki. So replace empty with my second wiki. And save it. And now over in the other window, open that file, um, control O works very nicely. Um, and it should be right there because that's where you last opened it. Okay, and so this is an empty wiki. Um, so step two, I'll do it. And Tiddly Fox kicks in and says you want to save it. And that's what you always want to see when you're opening a new wiki for the first time. That means it's working. So go ahead and click OK. And then step two, you've, you've, uh, you want to change the title to my second wiki. Or in fact, you can call it whatever you want. And I think the subtitle, put your name in there, because that will help us identify it. And I should mention here, um, this is a public, this is like a quasi-public or very public class. Um, and anyone who's hesitant about being online and doesn't want to be public online, you can create a total new identity and change your name. Just make it consistent. Call yourself whatever you want. And um, if you're a registered student at SUNY Poly, send me a private email saying, this is who I am in your class. Um, if you have no concerns about being online, sort of in a public way, it's an open source class, then we can leave it after this. Okay. Um, so, you, so, and then you want to save this, um, see where it says, you want to save this getting started tiddler with the, um, it's kind of weird, getting started, you just close the tiddler and it saves. So it's the X up in the upper right hand corner. You have to right in the upper right hand corner of that getting started tiddler. Anyway, yeah, you can save it any way you want. Or the red button, that works. Okay, and it's saved, so you're good. Okay, and you can close getting started. There's an action in the upper right hand corner of the tiddler to the right of the word getting started. There you go. Yep. And now you can do a new tiddler. And that's the plus button right under your name. You'll create a new tiddler, and the tooltip tells you you're creating a new tiddler. And title it with the person that you'd like to describe. Do you, do you want to do Donald Trump? Then I'll just then you can cut and paste it. And then you can do your own on your own. Okay, and it asks you to tag the tiddler person with a capital P because capitalization counts. And you have to type the per person in the tag box there. And click add, and it's good. And then you write a description of the person in terms of his or her relationship to one other person, one place, and one thing. So you can go ahead and copy my example there. Right in this box here? No, my example on the left. The whole Donald Trump is married to, who? not Ivanka Trump, of course. But copy <laughs> the whole sentence there. So you just kind of linger over. Get all the way down to the period. Yep, that's good. You can copy that and paste it there. Okay, and um, correct Ivanka, because he's not really married to Ivanka. He's married to Melania. Thank you. Okay, and go ahead and save this tiddler. Um, so what you're going to do right there, John, that saves the wiki. Um, I was asking you to save the tiddler, which is, don't do that, yeah, the save button on the white, the checkbox there. That, that saves the tiddler, and then closes it, okay? And now edit the tiddler again. I just wanted to demonstrate what that does. So now you're in edit mode before you were in view mode. Okay, so tag, um, so that's a good sentence. So what we're gonna try to do is make the text, this is step six on the left, make the text naming the person, the place, and the thing into links. Okay, and the way we do that is we enclose the words that we want to be linked in double square brackets. So like Melania Trump, 
And before you do anything else, on the toolbar just above is that little last element on the toolbar down below last element so it wraps you up and that will open up a preview window for you so go ahead and click that and then now continue on Melania Trump put the double square brackets after her name and what you'll see happen on the right there is that it's turned into a link the Hitler named Melania Trump which doesn't exist yet so the link is in italics okay go ahead and um linkify or write a link around Trump Tower. So make that into a link. And Trump Force One, which is an airplane, right? Some students were didn't know what Trump Force One was this morning. Um, and so make that into a link before the period. Yep. So what you're doing there is you're now writing hypertext and you're thinking hypertextually and you're using brackets as punctuation around words to do different things. You're used to using periods, exclamation points, commas and stuff like that. And now you're gonna use these additional kinds of things like those double square brackets. So you go ahead and save that tiddler and just save the tiddler and you'll notice that the wiki itself will save that red button up above just went so now we're going to click on the links to create these three tiddlers. So click on Melania Trump and edit the tiddler called Melania Trump. And write a sentence about Melania Trump. Um, yeah, there's no directions here. This is like, oh, I'm sorry, step eight. Tag her as a person, right? She's a person. So do I need to type in tag name? Oh, no. There, we go. there it is. And uh, let's write a brief sentence about her, um, whatever you want to say. Perfect. OK. And um, so let's make a link. And actually, what I'm asking you to do in step eight, sorry, is write some text describing the person, place, or thing in terms of his or her relationship to one other person, one other place, and one other thing. So you've got a, uh, we'll call supermodel a thing. We need a place in a, was a supermodel born in the Netherlands? No, where was she born? Born in Slovenia? I have no idea. Born in Europe? Sure, that's better. Born in Europe and lives at... Trump Tower. There we go. So you can linkify Trump Tower and put brackets around Europe and brackets around supermodel. I think being a supermodel is a thing, right? Sure. There we go. So now person place for thing. Okay, so save that. And um and now go back up to Donald Trump and you're gonna work on Trump Tower. And give that a sentence. Um first tag it as a place. And so next time it will be in the list. Yep. Yeah, uh, Trump Tower is in New York City. And it's a building. Oh, hey, do me a favor, put those brackets in there in front of new and after city. And let's start thinking and writing hypertextually. So Trump Tower is in New York City, and as the next words in your mind come to your mind as a link, put the brackets in as you write it. So go ahead, Trump, you finish the sentence. Trump Towers in New York City. Yep, you need the double bracket on building. So yeah, so that's so the the so what John just demonstrated there is this really uh, um, interesting technique called hypertextual writing. So I I would suggest that in his mind 
process of writing that word building is slightly different when he encloses it in square brackets than when he doesn't. Because it anticipates something that he's going to do as a writer in the future. And that's why I think hypertextual writing is different than non-hypertextual writing. Okay, so save this and let's go on to Trump Force 1. Um, and this is a thing, right? And it's an airplane. The link in your mind wasn't there when you thought airplane? <laughs> <laughs> no, apparently not. <laughs> apparently not. That's okay. Um, you know, it's an airplane that, um, um, that, I don't know, what does airplane do? That flies to Washington. DC. That flies high in the sky. I like it. There you go. Yep. Okay. So, so, um, so save those. I think we've got enough sentences to play with now. Um, well, let's go ahead and not write any more sentences, but let's click on every possible tidbit that you've created and tag it as person, place, or thing. So start, and just start clicking around to see anything that's italicized. So the action is to edit and tag this person, place, or thing. And close. You might be over 13 tiddlers. I don't know. It's okay, though. Well, it might be. <laughs> I don't know. So here's a question. Now, a building is definitely a thing, but it also can be a place. So should I tag it both ways? You may. Aha. Uh -huh. You may. You're, 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 um, John, you're a, you're a radical thinker. <laughs> you are a 21st century thinker because that's a 21st century concept that one thing can be two things. Not really, but yes. And it's, um, thank you. Yeah, supermodel, keep going, Europe. Uh, you yeah, know, maybe supermodel's a place, you know? I don't know. <laughs> well, no comment there. Well, yeah, no, she's not a thing. I'm in, uh, I'm in the wrong one. Hang on. Yeah, it's fine. And so when you X instead of check, it just says it as it was. Yep, it's right below there. Oh, yep, there it is. Yep. Um, uh, sure. Sure. Okay, I think you got them all. Okay. So that was step eight. Um, and step nine you did as well, and step 10 you did as well. <laughs> Man, look at that. Nine and 10. So we're gonna go back to um, edit your original tiddler. Um, in fact, what you can do is close off or reload and just let's start fresh. Okay, am I doing that on the right-hand side here? Oh yeah. You can just um, control R, hit the reload button in your browser. Um, and it should all come back up with getting started. Okay, but let's change the default tiddler to Donald Trump. So under default tiddlers type, um, and it's a, it's a link, so let's put it in square brackets. So get rid of getting started and replace it with Donald Trump. Um, you know what, instead of doing that, I'm gonna show you a better way. Uh, make it full screen. And um, under, click under recent on the right side. And there's Donald Trump, grab Donald Trump and drag him into the default tiddlers box. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't really matter where it goes. And um, click the save button on the wiki, either way. Yep. And reload the wiki.
Okay, so it now opens on Donald Trump. Okay, so we'll drag it back to the half. So we've got a half screen again. And um, so, so you did the first part of number 11. Um, and then um, grab that red code. All of it, all the way down to there. Yep, and copy that. And then edit the Donald Trump titler. And on the, after that sentence, hit return a couple of times, and now paste. And so what you're seeing there, and that's, you know, sometimes I'll say just paste, trust, and let's look at it. So what you're seeing is a little bit of code inside those angle brackets. And that's like about as scary as it might get, and now it'll get scarier. But anyway, you got the word people there. And then you're using a macro called list links. So macros are enclosed in double angle brackets. And it's going to get the tag, all the tiddlers that are tagged person, all the tiddlers that are tagged place, all the tiddlers that are tagged thing. And so I don't really like this order. So grab the word thing. And you can, yeah, just do that. You can just, yeah, and you can just usually click in the middle of the word. So um, in fact, just grab that line things. Grab that whole line and delete it, Apple X or Control X, and go up two lines. I'm and sorry. Arrow up two lines maybe with your keyboard and paste. Oh, I see. Did you, did you delete it or I don't know how you copied that. So hit Control Z or up two and one more. There you go. So... That wasn't in your buffer. That's kind of weird that that wasn't when you deleted that. Did you control X that? Uh, I did now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you have to cut it and then paste it. I guess I got to say cut and paste. There we go. And uh, yeah, hit return there. That'll put that on the next line. So those little asterisks are bullet points. And um, yeah, you can play. So um, excellent. Save that. That's step um, 11. And, and, step, and step and step um, on the right side. Yeah, step 12, scroll up on the right side. And, um, oh no, there's no button like that on the wiki toolbar. I'll fix that. Click on tools and click on new journal. It's about seven down there. Click there and that'll put it out there. There you go. And click on new journal. And let's write a sentence. You can copy and paste my sentence. So let's see what you wrote there. So wrote a story about Donald Trump. You click on that, it'll take you to Trump. And some people, who's it, who, what people are in your story? Oh, oh so save, save the tiddler. Copy the name of that tiddler, 19th January 2017. Now copy that and add that to the list of default tiddlers. So for that, you go to the control panel. It's the wheel button in the toolbar there. And under the default tiddlers, you can paste, now hit return and paste. And you can close that in double square brackets. Sorry, can I? There we go. Yeah, and that's fine if they're not if they're on the same line. And save your wiki and reload it. Notice we're constantly saving the week and reloading it. Just make sure it's all there. And um, you can make this full screen now. We're done with me. And so let's look at the story. Let's look at your journal entry. And that's basically the documentation of what you did. I mean, there's no detail in your story there yet. But it's, I wrote a story about Donald Trump and some people. And you can click on the people tag. And there aren't any people. Scroll down, do we see him? 
No. Scroll down a little bit. And close the tiddler above. There's no people. Interesting. Is there, are there places or things? There's a no place, okay. And there's thing, okay. There's no people. So let's diagnose that. So let's look at the code of your tiddler. Tag people, that should work. Um, when you click the scroll, click on the people on the right, and we still don't have any people, do we? No? Okay, so close that tiddler. So, um, reload, so we'll get back to your Donald Trump tiddler. Click the home button. Oh, wait a second. Oh, that's fine. Yep, you didn't make any changes that you care about. Yep. So, I'm going to leave the page? Yep. Okay. P E O P L E. Click on Melania Trump. Oh, I bet you I know what it is. It's person, not people. Ah. So, so go back to your um your Donald Trump tiddler, and my code is wrong. So I'll fix that. And see where it says it says tag person. That works. And then it's in the it's in your um in your journal tiddler. That was that had the error. My so, journal one had yeah, the error. On recent. And that's gonna list all the tiddlers. So I think you're on nineteenth January two thousand seventeen. So edit that tiddler. And that's tag people, it should say tag person. Uh, that's the code that you copied from me, so that's mine. It's capital person. And then the story about Donald Trump and some person. Let's see what person is. Person, Donald Trump, Melania Trump, supermodel, drafted Donald Trump. Okay, as soon as you close the Donald Trump, he'll, dis he'll disappear from the draft. Um, let's figure out what that means, so scroll up. Um, you've got Donald Trump opened, and notice in the upper left-hand corner it says draft of Donald Trump. At this point in time, if you save your wiki, this tiddler is called draft of Donald oh, wait one second. This tiddler is called draft of Donald Trump, and there's also the Donald Trump tiddler. Okay, close or save it, and then the draft of Donald Trump tiddler goes away, and now Donald is whole again. Don't worry too much about it. Okay, so that's your second wiki. Go back to mine on the left. Um, and um, you did all the first 12 steps. Um, and so what I want you to do, and we're 849, so that took a little bit longer than I hoped, but that's okay. And click on things to learn, and I'm gonna go through this kind of quickly. And so what we just did, um, is we went over, and if you want to hit on the tool, on the more info, John, and make this the only tiddler that's open, it's down below. The more info for the things to learn, tiddler. More info. And the things to learn. So scroll up a little bit. It's a tiddler command. So it's in the tiddler bar there's to the right. Up, up in the tiddler. There you go. That's the oh, more okay. action. Sorry. And okay. others. And um, yeah, and so now we're just focused on this. So what we covered, we covered five things here. Um, each one of those is a link, so you can look, click on it. We talked about creating and editing titlers, and there's text about that. Um, and it's good text. It's not text I wrote. It's the it's the documentation, if you will, for the Tiddly Wiki site. So this Dynamite Studio was built on top of that. And then there's linking in Wiki text. What you write when you create Tiddlers is called Wiki text, and you link by putting enclosing words in double square brackets. Um, you did some tagging, so you can read about tagging. You created a journal Tiddler, and then the last thing you did is you wrote with tags and links. And if you click on writing with tags and links, um, 
So what I'm suggesting is that, and just letting you know that you can make links written in camel case and close them in double square bracket. And this is writing hypertextually. And so if you want to read about that, that there you go. Um, so the one done this, if you go back to yours on the other side there, Dan, um, you're going to have to find this on the web. And I'll just review that a little bit. If you scroll up to your URL for this file and make this full, full screen, grab everything starting with SUNY Poly in the URL. Just starting with SUNY Poly. You got the whole thing there. Yep, and grab all the rest of that and copy that. Oh, hang on, I didn't get the yes. Hang on. Copy that. And then let's put this in a tiddler. So go, go to the control panel. This isn't even in the exercises. Go to the control panel. And in the um, my second wiki, let's just let's paste the URL. Let's paste the URL right there instead of John Freiberger. Paste it right after your name. Paste. Right after my name? Yeah. Okay. Now put a space in there. Okay, and then it's going to be HTTP colon slash slash. And then after, I'm sorry, before the next slash. So before the next slash, which is in front of the word my. Yep, you want to add dot up dog dot co. Okay, now you can click on it right from your wiki up there in the title. Um, in the title of your wiki, right under my second wiki, it says John Freiberger. Up, up, out. Uh, right says my second wiki in the control panel. Uh, I'm sorry, in the sidebar. No, you're inside. Cl close the control panel. Okay. And now there's a link. Oh, over here. <laughs> there you go. Yep, that's all right. Um, and so now this will allow you to have a link directly to it on the web. And um, looks good. Um, this is a slightly old version. Why doesn't it have the URL? Um, go back to the first tab. Save the wiki. Go to the second tab. Reload the wiki. One more time. is pretty quick so what's happened is it's cached the content so do a forced reload so a shift reload and then we'll force it back to the server so press the sh press and hold the shift key while you press the, re the reload button press and hold the shift key and the reload button is right to the left of the search yeah right there and press and hold the shift key and that should force a read back to the server there it is so if, you, if that's ever happening, it's it's sort of it's cached in your browser, and you you haven't you have to ask for it to refresh. So, um, and that's the link in your second tab that you want to share in the primary website as soon as I build the share form. Okay. So um, thank you very much, anybody who's watched to the end of this. There's your second wiki, and um, James, you can kill all the quarter.